let's talk about this summer new moon. So, now on these days, there's two powerful astrological events will occur. First, Venus and Jupiter will make a sextile of air and fire. And this is really a different vibration. I, myself, because I'm sympathetic to it, uh, I don't know if some of you out there, but it depends on your chart. Like, you'll feel that air and fire vibration. And, which is great because this is also can be used for all the way till July 4th. Which is, um, since it's a new moon and you're bursting, you got air and fire, you're bursting, which is, <laughs> go figure, the, like, the explosion of air and fire, which is like fireworks, it's July 4th of Independence, so with a new moon, it's creating a new beginning, a burst of something, and it's nurturing, it's, and so when I'm bringing this into play, I explain to you that this is a great time also to start, to be for starting a relationship. Um, you listen to this all the way, because you're going to get a more in debt and a meditation with that, and I'm going to provide you with some energy medicine, vibrational sound frequency, um, along with it. So stay tuned to all the way to the end. But um, let me just talk about this air and fire. So if you already have a partner, these are good days to rekindle the flame of passion. Um, or starting a new relationship, pay attention to your dreams, and something new coming in, or rekindling. Uh, there, uh, it will be a first moon, new moon, for the summer in this sign of Cancer. So this is a big burst of boosting. It will help you to better manage your emotions. Like, uh, so the spiritual meaning, in sense, uh, aligning yourself with this in a spiritual realm is that the effect of that moon with the when it is being presented and exerting on the earth is very relevant in controlling the tides of our rivers and our oceans so the new moon will also be appropriate time for agricultural type of deal to control stubble to Eliminate those plants that we do not want in our garden, or pests, or weeds, so to speak. Um, well, if you already have it, most of you have already prepared that. So, you prepare that garden, or those for the new moon, that's an actual blessing and gratefulness. It's a guide, also, to help us confront some of those deepest feelings that we have. Um, and we, we can start to recognize them. And be with them and understand them and even overcome them which is in any area when it comes to our spirit um, in connecting and having a relationship from our, with our higher self or with our God or with our Holy Spirit so to speak whatever you believe in so this is the time during June which is a new beginning it's a cancer so it's nurturing it's a good time to reflect and meditate it's it pray a uh, really good time for prayers in regards to that, meditations and reflecting and bringing something in new and, and rekindling that, and, or blessings into the tides or, and so forth. And it, it helps us to invite us to have a better understanding of those feelings of regards to the people around us also. And it's a good time to pay close attention to our intuition and our vibrational plane and and so, when it plunges into this cancer sign, which is an intuitive sign, which is a nurturing sign of the zodiac, you can also have the opportunity to do some cleansing, cleansing in your Holy Spirit, cleansing in your um, house, cleansing in your office, cleansing in your, your soul, your relationships, and do a general cleaning. Um, this is a great new energy of rearranging things. Do not allow laziness to win the battle. Okay, so it's highly recommended to do a spiritual cleansing 
in every way so that you feel good. Uh, a bath, a spiritual cleansing bath, uh, a bathing in the prayers and making, making a longer time praying and meditating and reading and uh, filling your soul and your spirit or anything else that you want to accumulate on your goals in your life or bringing in something that's a new beginning so I highly recommend that you also meditate in uh, silence and uh, most peacefulness and home white a white candle, a home cleaning it's best to rearrange your furniture in your house, in your bedroom. Uh, laundry, cleanse, change out types of colors, bring in some new fresh air. Breathe in that fresh air, go for a hike. Uh, without having to spend a lot of money either, you can do these things. You can welcome these things that can heal that thorn in your heart. It's time to remove it. It's time to make the difficult non-available. Smooth the roughnesses. It seems at first that you might feel a little edgy in a sense because that air and fire depends on who you are, depends on what you're balancing in. But it's a period of time to be able to allow this to come into play in a very good and positive way reflected on that. Sometimes it's much better to separate reality and to have that well-being in play. So with that further to do, I want to present to you this new moon uh, meditation with cancer in a divine sound bath that is a cleansing of your spirit, your soul, your energetic systems that are around you. And by, I will guide you with my voice and allow you to also follow along. So enjoy. Welcome to the Cancer New Moon, which will happen on June 28th and 29th, 2022. Cancer is a water sign ruled by the moon. So the realm of emotions will be especially active these days. I want you to create a safe space and absorb this comforting, compassionate, and nurturing energy. Cancer is the archetypical mother. Embrace the symbols of the womb, the sanctuary, the home. Water sign cycles are particularly sweet for making tender connections with loved ones. Take stock of your feelings, enjoy food, reminiscence, visit with elders and family. some water under this moon so that it may be cleansed in your spirit asking the Holy Spirit above thanking the moon to bring new beginnings and cleansing your spirit with a bath Light a white candle and 
and spend time reflecting. Say a new beginning prayer or a chant or meditate or a ritual of some sort that honors this new moon. Connecting with your deeper emotions. This is also can be working with your yang or your shadow side. Take a deep breath in. Fill your lungs up, thinking of this beautiful, nurturing, emotional time. And I want you to repeat this meditation or prayer with me. I nourish myself in healthy ways. My emotions are fluid, but in balance. I welcome this nurturing Holy Spirit to cleanse my spirit and bring me new beginnings. I welcome my emotions, for my emotions are mighty. Take a deep breath in, lifting up and visualize water flowing up out of your head. Reach your hands above your head with this water coming out of your hand, slowly passing through your head. This water is cleansing with the new moon, your head, your throat, your chest, your abdomen, your hips, your legs, your calves, all the way down through your feet into the earth. Breathe one more time, lifting both your hands up to the side, visualizing this beautiful, nurturing water, cleansing a bright silver light of the new moon, lifting up this water over top of your head, and slowly bathing
you're standing in it, you see this gorgeous pond that you're standing in of this moon, bright, silvery white, bathing of cancer. And it nourishes you, and it comforts you. 